happened uh, to the hand? Yeah, uh, I don't know specifically. I know I tried to go for a steal at some point and um, felt like I jammed it like you normally do in, in, in playing basketball um, and just blew up overnight. Crazy swelling, so uh, just try to be pre precautious, um, knowing kind of where we are in the season and not let this linger for too long. So hopefully the uh, healing process will continue as I go through the road trip. Assuming you're feeling, assuming you're improving, how's it improving over the last hours? Um, swelling's going down, it's still painful, but kind of have to deal with that as you go especially with your hand there's no real way to protect yourself it really if you're out there playing because you got to only thing you don't want to do is get it caught in a jersey or something and, and it and it being in a, a weak state you know have some more damage happen so that was the concern for yesterday's game but uh hopefully by tomorrow the swelling will be gone and and uh i'll be able to deal with the pain and just play assuming that you play tomorrow you'll face long I mean, he's a rookie. He's going through the ups and downs like every rookie uh, has, whether you're highly touted or not. It's all a learning experience and trying to find your way and be comfortable. So, uh, yes, yeah, that's basically basically my my perception is he's working through that. And um, I've always said I know he's a great talent. He's I think he loves to play basketball, so he'll be able to. to to fight through all that and have a great career, but uh, hope you didn't judge me off my first 20 games in the league either. It must be tough when guys keep telling him he needs to change his shot. I mean, that's pretty basic stuff. He's not the first person that the peanut gallery kind of wants to chime in and tell you know people how to how to play the game. <laughs> so. Uh, at the end of the day, he's made shots shooting like that before. I'm pretty sure. You can figure it out what that means in the NBA game, but yeah, uh, that's for him to decide. There will probably be some type of swirling storyline about you know, what his dad said last year about you, and uh, it might be extra motivation for you. Is it at all? No, uh, more comic relief for me. <laughs> you need that every from time to time, so that's about it. What did you learn about the team last night? Watching the game. I mean, we're, we're deep, we're versatile. We have guys that can play make all around the floor. Just obviously last night with certain uh, lineups out that we had out there and the rotation was a, a drastically different than it's been. Even when you know I sit and KD plays or vice versa or you know or Draymond's out, um, having me and K out for the first time was it was a little different uh, just with how you kind of end quarters and, and play calls that we can kind of get us through some lulls throughout the course of the game. But, I mean, they competed. They played hard. Uh, game could have gone either way. And considering, you know, how, how well Sacramento played down the stretch, you know, you got to give them some credit as well for, for going out and winning the game. But we, uh, we showed some heart. And, and uh, I think it was a great experience for everybody just to know how we uh, can adjust when, when guys are up. Last night was a special circumstance with you and KD out there. You did have a 10 point lead that you know, they came back and won. And I think it's like the fourth time this year you guys kind of lost a game where you had a double digit lead. Some of them were double digit leads have been pretty big. You guys have been so good at protecting those kind of leads over the last few years. And what do you think is happening there, getting leads back? It's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, defensive lapses, they give the other team confidence and they take advantage of it. Some games it's been turnovers. Um, some games it's been foul trouble. It, there's no like one set reasoning. Uh, but it's a good, uh, you know, learning lesson for us throughout the course of the season that, you know, value those leads, value the our approach no matter what the score is and figure out how to, how to close games out. So... Uh, you know we're going to need that down the stretch of the season, and even in the playoffs when you you jump on a, jump on a team early, and you got to figure out how to sustain that for 48 minutes. But 
I'm not really worried about that per se because I think it's been different things each time. And there's no real glaring kind of weakness at all. Uh, kind of what Steve said is that you guys aren't really stepping on people's throats like you have in the last couple of years, but eventually you're going to have to get there. For sure. Um, I mean, yeah, you want to you want to be able to capitalize off of uh, off of great performances, and you don't want to have to win the game twice in, in those kind of situations. You know, when you come out and you jump on a team, you got to try to make it as easy on yourself as possible. And, the games you, you talked about, we haven't, uh, but I'm sure we'll be in that situation plenty more times and, and be able to figure it out. What do you think Macaw's natural position is? He obviously played some point last night, which is not where he usually plays. Um, I mean, I think he has the skill set to do both, play, you know, off the ball and on. Uh, his ball handling is solid enough that he can, he can penetrate and probe and run pick and roll. Uh, and he's also explosive with his first step, trying to you know get in the paint and make plays. So he kind of falls into that that category of being able to do both. I don't know what he prefers, but uh, you know the positionless NBA that, that is kind of taking place. He's he's suitable for any anywhere you put him out there because he's another one of those guys that has a lot of intangibles that might not show up on a stat sheet, but uh, help your team win and make him a threat on the floor. So uh, as long as he keeps that up, he'll, he'll be fine. Will you wear a hand, like, wrap or whatever tomorrow when you play, you think? Yeah, something. Trying to figure that out. <laughs> a lot of different options. Does it affect you? I mean, does it affect you at all while you're shooting that uh, The whole point is just try to take some of the pain away because there's so much emotion and, and uh, I guess, effective when the ball, you know, whether you're catching a pass or dribbling, trying to limit that motion as much as I can. So uh, hopefully as long as I got these two fingers, I can shoot <laughs> and uh, and be fine. Is it more the finger or the top of the hand? Just more the whole the whole right ring finger. So, uh, yeah. Steve makes an effort to keep everybody involved, but it's a, it's a challenge, obviously, with the depth of this team. For you personally, like how how long does it take getting into a season before you're comfortable with basically any combination you might be with on the court? I mean, every year is different. Just, you know, one guy can make a huge difference when it comes to how you put together that five-man you know, lineup. There is a lot of consistency for us, though, just having the same kind of playbook, the same style of play, the same core together. So that chemistry is always there, but uh, throughout the course of the season, there are going to be nights like last night where, where we're at game 20-something and you have a, the line that hadn't played together before and you have to just figure it out on the fly. So uh, that kind of just comes with the territory. But I feel like we're in, in pretty good shape where we are right now, just uh, you know, continuing to, to refine and be more efficient and, and execute. Uh, especially on the offensive end in the half court, uh, no matter what lineups out there, knowing what play calls are best suited for the guys that are out there on the floor. So that perspective is always, is always like in a work in, a work in progress. Uh, so I think you can always get better at it.